So I have been asked the story of how I got my nickname as the Wax Queen. And while there are lots of queens out there, and I'm completely happy to share the title, I, since I was at the forefront of waxing in the industry in the United States, and I mean, I'm going to say kind of in the world bringing it to the masses, it just so happened that it was the right time and the right place. But it was about 30 years ago and way back in the beginning when we were using dinosaur dung as masks is when I started in the aesthetics industry and it was with my mother. So we started going to trade shows. Now we've been manufacturing skincare for 31 years and I went to work for her 31 years ago. 30 years ago in Long Beach at the Hyatt where there's a huge hair show there um we used to do the aesthetics trade shows at the hotel next to it and there was a woman there magda fitcher and she was the reason that we even have aesthetic trade shows in the united states she's the founder of them and the one that really built them up well she asked if i wanted to do a wax class and this was 1984 i used my calendar my calculator so i knew i had it right um 1984 she asked if i wanted to teach a wax class and I remember there was about 75 people in the class and it was the very first class that I taught at a trade show. And I just remember thinking, oh my goodness, what could I tell everybody? I mean, they'd all been waxing, waxing or so they said. Anyway, um, I got an award for teaching that class from Magda. And as we were being called up on stage and she was saying, and this award is for, she, brought me up on the stage and she said, and this is for Laurie Nestori for teaching our wax class here. And she is the wax queen and it's stuck. So here we are 30 years later and I am surrounded by royalty because there are queens everywhere and a king here and there just to keep it rounded out. But that's the story of how I got the nickname of the wax queen. I think I still can be pretty confident to tell you that I'm, I'm okay holding the title. I feel completely okay about being the queen. All right, there's my story and I'm sticking to it.